Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meadsy69, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we've got an OP replay or OP platoon, but what we're going to talk about is how to make a bad tank good, or how to make an average tank good. So we've got here the Borask. Now the Borask isn't a fantastic tank in my opinion. It can be good, uh, but it's uh, it's not a fantastic tank. It's an auto loader with two shells. The Alpha's nice, the speed's nice, it looks nice, uh, but I just think uh, overall it's not the best of tanks. It's got not much armor, it's got, uh, it's not, not no DPM, pretty much it's, it's uh, an average tank. It's not a bad tank, it's a, like, it's kind of like a meh tank. But how to make that meh tank into a good tank? And what you are gonna do is play double these. So if you can play double these, then you haven't just got that low DPM uh, two shell autoloader, you kind of got more DPM, sort of 4,000 mark DPM with a four shot autoloader. As long as you play it together, as long as you know what you and your two mate are doing, if you know what he's doing and he knows what you're doing, you can really make these tanks effective. And it's, I'm not just talking about the Borask, I'm talking about other tanks, especially autoloaders. Autoloaders in a platoon can be absolutely crazy because you say you've got three a three ship autoloader say the 50b say the 50b it's a good tank fantastic tank if you're playing that in a platoon you've got six shells coming at you and this is a quick tank so if you can really really work well together of course at the moment these two guys haven't done anything too spectacular together they've gone for the right targets and i mean how our guy here mj gamer um uh, well, MJ here and MJ Gamer in the other one. I'm not sure quite which, both are MJs. Um, but they're both driving Borask. And what they're going to do in, in a moment is play the tank fantastic. And the way they play this tank makes the tank look so good. Where you might play the tank and think, what the hell, this tank is awful. Uh, I'm not saying the tank is awful. In my opinion, the tank is kind of average. It, that's That's all. That is all it is. But when you look at a battle like this and you see two Borasks playing as well as they are and as good as it, uh, good with each other, then it looks fantastic. So what they're going to do now is the way I look at this game, like sometimes it is best to stick together. If you're in a platoon, sometimes it is best to stick together to go for the same target. Of course, going for the same target is, is very crucial uh, to pulling off a, a victory. But what these two guys are doing is they are creating a uh, a dive not a diversion as such they're creating the enemy so they're making the enemy come to a certain position of the map you can see they're not together but they're not too far away to, uh, from each other and that's how you want to be you don't want to be bumping in, into each other too close to each other that you can't have the shots off what these guys have done is One's come to the left and one's come to the right. Now the enemy can really only come from the middle, especially in this map. Of course, on different maps, it will be at different uh, positions. Uh, but what they've done on this map in particular, because they knew that the tanks were coming from the middle, what they've done is one went one side, one went the other, because they know that these tanks are gonna come up from the middle. So that means they've got side shots. Both of these guys have side shots into these three tanks. And I just think the the idea of that is fantastic. Usually in a platoon like this, people would, they would just stick together. They would run away, but they didn't ever look at running away. They, they was running, yes, but they wasn't running away. They was relocating into a better position. And now ignoring that 53 TP, MJ Gamer ignoring that 53 TP to go for the T28 because he knows his platoon mate was on a reload. So now his platoon mate has reloaded. He's got the two shells. He's taken the shot because the MJ Gamer is a one shot and now whilst he's on a reload MJ Gamer can come out and get the victory just watch this game guys watch it back and look how these guys perform look how they play look at their positionings because they've just made an average tank look absolutely fantastic because of their positionings and their gameplay 
it is a very very good uh, eye opener on how to platoon properly so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helps a little bit thank you mj for sending me this replay absolutely uh, well played there and a perfect perfect way to platoon hope you enjoyed the video i'm meadsy and i will catch you all soon bye bye